Hey everyone, it's Tina here back for another video. I'm super excited to be back doing these videos for you. Thank you to all those that watched the last live video I did uh, and for putting your suggestions down below. I really do appreciate it. I am thinking about renaming this series as it's not as such a vocal coach reaction. Um, I really feel that we should rename it to something more appropriate, such as vocal breakdown and analysis, talking about different elements of performance and voice. So if you have any other suggestions or perhaps like the suggestion uh, of the video title that I have put, uh, comment down below and let me know because I'd love to yeah, be more specific as to what um, we're doing on this channel. And I think reaction is not really the right term. So comment down below, let me know your suggestions. Without further ado, we are watching High Ren by Ren. So let's have a look. Let's talk about it. Here we go. Already I'm captivated by the scene, the stage, the way he was presented prior to even performing, so this should be interesting. taking us on a journey prior to even singing and telling the story. Um, the arpeggiation is so beautiful, but also he's, um, the way he's moving around the guitar and his choice of where he's going on the guitar creates this almost disconnect or this, this, this uh, disconnection uh, to what he's playing and keeps us intrigued, which I love. I'm not a guitarist by any means, but I can certainly appreciate what he's doing. So what he started off there with a nice falsetto, you'll hear quite uh, like a little creak or a little, um, some would say distortion at the front of his falsetto. What he's doing there is just a little bit of compression, overly compressed, maybe a bit of fry as well, which you can hear. Um, you'll, I'll go back and you'll hear just slight compression at the top of his falsetto when he enters for effect. actually depending on what phrase he's doing he's either over, overly compressed at the beginning of um, the phrase or he is um, implementing vocal fry just to give it a little bit of effect now for those that don't know what compression is um, compression is the clarity caused by the chord so you're kind of reducing the air so rather than ha it's ha so and you can go ha and you can also over compress as well so very nice touch and definitely um, a nice way to start this piece because you probably wouldn't expect it if you've never heard of Ren before. Hi there Ren, it's been a little while. Did you miss me? You thought you buried me, didn't you? Risky. Cause I always come back Deep down you know that Deep down you know I'm always in periphery Rent on your pleased to see me It's been weeks since we spoke bro I know you need me You're the sheep I'm the shepherd Not your place to lead me Not your place to be biting off the hand that feeds me Hi Brent. I've been taking some time to be distant 
I've been taking. So already there is a lot going on um, with his voice. So he started with falsetto, he had a little bit of compression, then he raised his larynx, got a brighter tone, lots of character behind uh, what he is saying, and just now has contrasted that with lowering the larynx to play and resemble a different character in this piece. Uh, so incredible so far. Some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Ren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow. This is uh, such a strong representation of what I would interpret as having multiple um, thoughts in your head, negative, positive, hopeful, um, and it's very, I love the way that he communicates that and he explores that. I also want to talk about his rhythm. His rhythm is so staccato, short and detached. Um, he's so on point in the pocket of time, he's really landing on those beats, accent, um, accentuating certain words to provide something that otherwise would be uh, quite, well quite plain because accentuating certain beats and words is what brings life uh, to the story he's telling and the energy he presents, uh, which is fantastic. Also too, um, what I love as well is in turn to great rhythm, he's got great clarity. He's not mumbling whatsoever. Um, for anyone that may have trouble with things like this, if they're trying to rap or they're trying to sing up-tempo songs that require more of a quick pace or uh, quick phrases, you definitely want to practice your tongue twisters and you also want to practice your breath support. So you start with slow songs, slowly increase the tempo, or you get a fast song, slowly increase the tempo and really mark your breaths. Uh, treat it as a guide when you're singing and then, or a formula, and then when you're practicing, implementing those and then building up the speed back to whatever the 100% is. Uh, it does take some time. A lot of students also too, or yourself, um, if you are doing rap and doing a lot of fast uh, paced songs, uh, be aware of tension that may build. When you are singing in general, you don't really want any tension uh, in the tongue or extrinsic tension um, in the neck whatsoever. So you want to be mindful and make sure that you're staying relaxed while working on these things. Make sure your body's nice and warmed up too. And if you need to, stretching around and doing all those things. This tense that program rejoice All your problems will be gone Fucking dumb boy Nah mate This time is different man Trust me I feel like things might be falling in place And my music's been kind of doing bits too Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone Maybe I'll be remembered For doing something special with myself That's why I don't think that we should talk man Cause when you're with me It never seems to help You think that you can amputate me I am you You are me You are I I am we We are one Split in two That makes one So you see You gotta kill you If you wanna kill me I'm not left over dinner I'm not scraps on the side Oh your music is thriving Delusional guy Where's your top ten hit Where's your interview with Oprah Where are your Grammys Ren Nowhere Yeah but My music's not commercial like that I never chase numbers Statistics or stats I never write hooks For the radio They never even play I really do appreciate his artistry and his storytelling and expressing what he's gone through and the hardships he's faced um, by writing this song. I think he executes it so beautifully too in, in the way that he writes it. It is very um, theatrical in the sense where he plays these two characters, he flips between, but the essence of his songwriting, the truth that he's displaying when he sings, I think is um, fantastic. And I just can't get over the amount of movement that he has by going high and low, then neutral, to display those characters and to really bring them to life. It's incredible. So why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting And the people who find it respect it And for me that's enough Cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song About how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it 
man, it's not like that. Man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius. He wants to write a song that was. So we are three minutes and thirty seconds in this song, and he has not dropped his stamina once. Uh, and that is a testament to his skill and his technique, which is just fabulous because the truth is singing a song like this with that much energy, consistent energy and emphasis on certain words and character play, laryngeal movement, it will tire someone out. It will because it's a lot of demand in terms of the breath support that we need. So for those that don't know, breath support is being able to essentially make your body big and keep it big, singing on the exhale, but not letting it all go straight away and controlling it. So um, it really is a testament to his technique. Um, and although the song has very similar uh, sections thus far, to be able to maintain it and to keep it uh, is a skill in itself. So that's incredible. Not done previous, a battle with the subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material Ran, mate, we've heard it all before uh, She sells seashells on the seashore <laughs> Right there too, um, lowering the larynx So if you want to, you watching at home, if you want to try it, go to yawn And then look like this <laughs> And what you're doing is lowering the larynx, making the pharyngeal space a lot bigger, um, which gives you the space to um, kind of create those fun sounds. And once again, it's another character that he's now implemented. Um, definitely lowering that larynx quite a fair bit. Um, it's great, it's great. Uh, let me know, by the way, in the comments below if you tried that and how you went. <laughs> I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius And I will be great, and I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, your f***ing god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you, say it, instead of downplay it uh, music is all about the creative process And if people <laughs> can find again. something to relate to within that, then that's just a bonus There you go, that's just a bonus <laughs> So it's really, really fun to play with your larynx, so whether it's up here or here or here, it's really, really good to play with it um, and see what you can create because at the end of the day, words are just words and as long as you apply your character, your personality, your soul and you play with your voice, that's how we bring things to life, that's how we connect with people, um, that's how stories are well executed. So don't be afraid to play with your voice and experiment and be okay with laughing at yourself too. Um, I think especially a lot of uh, mature students, they feel like they shouldn't uh, make those mistakes, make those noises, you know, and it's just good sometimes to let go and have fun and make funny noises and see what your voice can do and also feel it within your body as well as to what is happening. Because the more you become familiar with your voice, the more you will um, not only gain the skills, but gain the confidence in knowing that you have a plethora of things that you can then apply to a song. So rather than singing it kind of like straightforward. So, and also too, if you experiment with your own voice by listening to other singers and imitating them, you can also identify what it is they're doing in order to get a certain effect or a certain sound. So it's definitely something I recommend. I'm a f kill you, Ram. Kill me then, let's I'm you, Ram. I'm a do it, watch me prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die. Yeah, I call the shots and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. Newsflash, I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings, I am sin, with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mustopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision. I love that ascending uh, section that he just did there. Um, I can't, I have to rewind, but he went up, I don't think he went up by uh, semitones, but he went up and the way that it kind of creeped up and the way that he musically puts this so that there is so much variety in what he's doing. Um, the truth is a lot of us, especially these days, 
um, unless you're listening to Evie part one, two and three um, and really enjoy something like that. It's very hard to get through a single piece that exceeds four minutes or so, or like the standard radio length. Um, so the fact that he's managed to only keep his audience but keep us entertained by creating so much variety in not only his voice but instrumentation is fantastic. The catalyzed chaos that causes the vision I live inside death the beginning of ends I am you, you are me, I am you, friend And we're back to the moat. Hi, Ren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill. But just as sure as the tide starts turning, just as sure as the night has dawned, just as sure as the rain falls soon one is dry when you stand. Can we also just mention the level of dynamics in this song also, instrumentational, uh, in the instrumentation and also in his voice. He literally just had this massive climb and then went back to the original motif or the original riff that we heard at the start, bringing things back down. And also uh, representing, le motif representing a character associated with what's happening on the guitar, which I think is really cool. Eye of a storm. I was made to be tested and twisted. I was made to be broken and beat. I was made by his hand. It's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet. And you know me, my will is eternal. And you know me, you've met me before. Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. And I go by many names also. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch or shake. So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. Oh, that's gorgeous. So he goes from very staccato spoken pieces in this song and now this is the first time we're hearing more of a melodic side to him. Um, and starts out with a beautiful chest, which I absolutely adore. He's got such a nice chest voice. The I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire, inspire that me to be strong. And when I am gone, I will rise in the music that I left behind. Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you, we're a climated different side. Once, I, uh, once again, just like the beginning, um, he has repeated that um, section at the end, but his guitar is more aggressive, more lively. So I'm very interested to see how this song finishes because there's been so much done to this song. Um, so I'm very intrigued to see how he chose or how he chooses to end this piece. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. 
And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older, and I learned to relax. And I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Wonderful. That was amazing. Um, just a side note too, that's the beauty about music. You know, we can sit here and we can react, some may critique um, negatively, some may critique positive, but at the end of the day, music is there to provide healing, to provide escape, sometimes to really find a way to communicate what we feel inside and whether it's us writing the song ourselves or it's a song that we found that speaks the words that we couldn't express otherwise uh, that really is what music is about at the end of the day singing should be joyful nothing else so whether you are watching this right now and you just love to sing in the shower or sing in the car keep singing because there is something beautiful about connecting with the voice within and if you have the chance in a lifetime to discover that, I encourage you to, because there is a lot of beauty and sometimes euphoria in exploring your own voice and sometimes soul searching through your voice and through song uh, and through listening to music. So I applaud Ren for this song. It's quite a powerful one. There are a lot of people that I'm sure can relate to what he has expressed through this and at the end of the day that's what music is all about so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please let me know down below if there are any other suggestions or videos or ideas you would like us to do uh, comment down below feel free to follow us also on instagram at riseacademymusic.com if you want to see what our academy is up to um, we do have a couple of spots for term two um, for international students in the morning so if you're interested Feel free to join us. You can book in a first assessment and we can figure out what your goals are and tailor lessons to you as well uh, if you want. If not, that's totally fine too. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.